Hey friends, welcome to episode, oh my gosh, it's episode 27 already of Let's Talk Marketing. I am so happy to have you here with me. Uh, as always, it is a pleasure to have you guys sitting down at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time every Tuesday. Uh, it's a blast uh, getting to go over some cool marketing stuff, talking philosophy, talking strategy, and this week, as we get to do every so often, uh, we're going to jam board, and this film uh, is near and dear to my heart that we're going to go over, uh, so while we wait for some homies to show up uh, in the th in the actual uh, search, I'll, uh, I'll see who comes up and comes in and who lets me know by jamming on a one to let me know that they are uh, completely and totally able to hear me. I'm hoping people can hear me this week. We had some people say last week that they were unable to. Uh, so if you can hear me, guys, uh, just give me a one. Give me a one this week, or just tell me one. Sean Jackson, thank you for coming. I'm glad you said you're going to be able to come. That's a one. That's a one that's so energizing uh, to hear kindness from you. Uh, we got Ethan. Ethan, oh, thank you. Uh, with the one, it's but. Scott, no, Scott, not muted. Everyone else is giving me a one. That's on your end. That's on your end, sir. Close of the video. It's good to hear from Sowitz, though. Uh, Sowitz in the house. Uh, I don't know who else is in the house. But um, so that's where we're at. It's going to be a good episode this week, I think, uh, from the standpoint of what we're going to do. Um, in the meantime, I'd like to totally mute it, not mute it. So everyone else can hear me but you. So I'm thinking it's you. Check your computer. Hopefully it's your computer. It's not me. I think I can hear me. I'm going to check. I'll check right now just to confirm. Facebook. I'll go, wait, I'll go YouTube.com slash Sean M. Smith. I'll go to live. No, I can hear me. I can hear me. So I went, James, double damn, double down. You're the man. Welcome to the show. Have not heard from you in weeks. Hope work is going well. Hope everything's keeping you well. Uh, I, I can't wait to maybe talk and hear how things are going, man. We have not we've not talked in a while. Uh, things things are great here. All right. And even on, a, on his phone so he can hear me, this is good. I have a little case of the sniffles, not COVID sniffles because I'm vaccinated, uh, but travel sniffles from little kids. So... It was a long trip back to Maryland. Um, <laughs> here we go. Watch this. Nice haircut. So um, short version of the story. If For those of you that weren't here last week, um, I did not mean to end up with my head shaved. Uh, I went to a barber before some family photos to get a haircut, and I said, a two around. And the gentleman said, uh, yeah, that's going real short because it was shorter than the sides were, if you guys kind of remember. And I was like, oh, it's not that big a deal. We'll just we'll just take care of it. You know, whatever. And, and I said, and on the top, use clippers. And he said, do you mean scissors? And I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Use scissors on top. Somewhere in that conversation, that little exchange, he decided that I meant clippers. And he took first stroke right up the top. And the family photos were the next day. Now, the reason this is a big deal is that uh, every major milestone in my sister's life, uh, this is the first time I met her son, we have, uh, I have I've shaved my head uh, accidentally. Uh, I got a bad haircut one time, had to shave it. Really bad haircut. Um, I got, um, let me think, my sister's college graduation, it was like high school graduation, college graduation, same thing happened. I got a bad haircut. My friend was trying to fix a mohawk and like it ended up like, if you see, I got a really weird hairline and he like tried to fix it and ended up like diagonal. So we just shaved it. Uh, so it has been, I don't know, like 16 years since that's been an issue. And it happened again. And she was near tears, not for her, but for me. So um, as it were, um, the guy was really nice about it. He was apologetic, and it sucks. So um, I don't like my head shaved, but thank you for the compliment. Um, we'll deal with it. It means I need to put sunscreen on my scalp now. But that all said, let's uh, let's kick it. Mm, let's talk marketing 27. 27. Ooh, yeah. 
that's an option. Funny story. We almost went to the wig place. I thought about making a joke of it and going to the wig store a couple doors down in the plaza. And my son was laughing really hard because he got a good haircut right before, like a really good haircut from this guy. And I was like, wow, I just got a sucky one. Like, how am I going to explain this? And I was like, well, let's just get a wig. Like, let's just get a wig, right? And uh, yeah, no, it did not work. So let's talk marketing number 27. This episode is going to be brought to you by a post I put up that got me so much hate. I did not realize how many people out there just like to crap on me. So if you guys see people crapping on me, let me know uh, what I did wrong because I can't improve as a person um, or uh, a, a performer uh, unless someone's telling me. If they're just the straight shooting vitriol at me, not helping me, not helping the process. Um, if they're doing it creatively or constructively, I'm okay with it. There was one that was really creative. And if you guys saw this thread here, uh, first off, I'm glad you guys all came. Thank you for being here. Uh, I don't know who you are or where you came from. Unless you tell me who you are or where you came from. But thank you for being here. Uh, anyone right now, uh, can good know everybody knows, uh, wants to grab the link uh, to the show uh, and put it in uh, any of the groups, the film groups, feel free. Um, share them. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I'm not really in a sharing kind of mood today because I'm not feeling those people. They've been mean to me. I'm just kidding. Um, give me two seconds. I know the only group I want to put it in uh, is the Jay Horton because uh, it's already. It's already. So just give me one sec. Do, 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 do. So I hope you guys all had a happy fourth. Uh, everyone appears to have been here safely, gotten back safely. It seems to have celebrated safely. Um and I like that everyone is uh, doing well. So I need to get another Facebook window with the um, good Lord. This is taking forever. It's taking far longer than it should. I should have left the window open with the event to have been more prepared. But I closed it. It's actually back behind the uh, what's happening now. Here we go. And if you go to Jay Horton right now, I'm giving away what the film is that we will be jamboarding in a little bit. But for now, Today's special, can you name the most powerful marketing skill that you have? Oh, man, yo, freak, diz, freak kizzle. I'm thinking NL is going to be Netherlands. I'm going to say thank you, yo. I need that. I need boost of confidence right now because this thread here that we're putting up, this this thing, got me hate. Got some haterade. And I felt real bad about myself for like seven minutes because I'm a sensitive dude and I can deal with... Only so much of it, because a little bit of it seemed like compliments at first, and then when I dug in a little bit, I was like, wow, that's mean. That was a little bit mean. Like this first one. Okay. So first, Mark Taliana said, my ability to instantly think of a marketing plan that will generate the greatest amount of publicity using out-of-the-box lateral thinking. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Good. I'm glad that that's his marketing superpower. I mean, that's that's a powerful skill to have to be able to put a plan together quickly. And hey, wait a second. Now, back in the day, back in the day, Mark actually reached out about uh, my bear deck, the strategy deck that I had put together. It's kind of a summation of the strategy that I use for client work. Right? He kind of was interested because he's working some films, and I, I shot it over to him, and never heard back. So this was his this was his answer. And then he fired back with PSM available for hire. So he basically knocked my strategy for helping people in the community, right? And then mentioned this like, hey, I'm really good at what I do. Plus, by the way, you can hire me. And it's like, 
Well, yeah, who doesn't do that? That's an absolutely crazy thing. Like, I'm a really great writer. Here's these three things I've written in the last year. Oh, and by the way, I'm available for spec or I can work on contract. Like, that's insane people talk. But anyway, I have made not very much off this show. Do you want to know how much very much is? I'll show you. I've made less than the cost of this fidget spinner. So when stuff like this is said, it just really makes me mad because I do this for the fun of it. I like putting some stuff together, putting some content out there, filling a YouTube channel, communing with you guys. I just, all right, enough. I don't want to deal with trolls. This is literally what it came down to. So this dude, when I was putting on my invites for the show, was not invited. Should he find this through the Martin J. Horton group and want to come and show up? That's fine. He's cool. He'll still be invited. I just did not enjoy this at all. And I don't know what you guys think. Let's be positive. Cindy LeBeau is someone that I've known since like 2011, 2012. She's run some really smart businesses for cleaning companies um, that she's owned. Uh, she owns uh, another business right now in Alabama that I can't think of the name of after she moved from Brooklyn. And she said authenticity is her marketing uh, superpower and her most powerful marketing skill, as it were. Uh, and the fearless, deep connection with herself and others, being present and conscious when listening to a client and creating content. So the thing is, is that I think what we're going to see as a general theme is learning to connect with people by being authentic. Um, I think for me, that's what I strive to do. I just want to be here, present with you. I'm alone in this room with nothing to do but talk to a screen and look over at my comment section and see what you guys are giving me. And that's what I feed off of. I feed off the comment section. I feed off the likes that you give me on Facebook or the hearts. Um, I can see when you're watching and when you're not. I can see where you're watching from, um, you know, what what site you're on. And, and that, to me, uh, gives me a boost. But uh, to Cindy's point here, being authentic, knowing who you are, and knowing your why, your deepest why. I told you guys my why. And I think maybe Mark up, up here kind of forgot to tune in for that episode. My why is I did not succeed with a web series and a film before that. And another web series before that. Um, because I was in a filmmaker community that wasn't necessarily the best. And we weren't winning. And we weren't succeeding. So what did I want to do? I wanted to do something different. So when it was my turn to market other people's stuff, um, bigger projects were coming in because of the agency I was working at. And then even when I moved on to Miami and the agency was smaller, I was working small independent features um, or even documentaries. And what I wanted to do was to really do a good job so that I could propel their material to a place where they'd be proud of um, so that they'd be proud of the work that they did. They didn't want to win the Academy Awards or all the awards at a web series film festival. Um, my why is I didn't want to see them fail like I did. So authenticity. If people can see that you're being authentic and kind, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully it translates. If it doesn't, um, it doesn't mean it's a shortcoming on your part. It just means that something's not there between the two of you. And hopefully you can find that together. Um, you know, and hopefully it doesn't come up in a thread <laughs> negatively. Uh, my buddy, Zach Blackwell, uh, he's literally right now, it's one of the cases for the best way to load the slingshot. Um, and if you have any questions about doing so, I would say reach out to him. He literally has followed it to a T. Uh, we've been talking and working together separately and he literally has loaded this thing perfectly. Uh, he's adding more and more stuff to it daily, but he said my ability to communicate and network in general I have zero shame in explaining where I am as a filmmaker, ask for help when needed, which he did do brilliantly, uh, become friends with professionals and take their advice. I never let myself get affected by what other people think and keep moving forward regardless of obstacles. And he did. Um, he did get some rejection in several instances, and he just put his head down and kept working. He took it. He took um, some rejection and he was like, you know what? It's not something I can do anything with. I can't change. I can't change that opinion. Um, what can I do to fix it? What can I do to fix the situation? And he's he's moved forward. I say, 
um, of anyone that I have worked with, uh, Zach has probably been the most determined to, to put forward um, the best foot. And I'm, I'm really proud of him. I'm proud of the guy. So um, next, uh, Martin Barrett. Hang on. I'll be right back in. There we go. Coming. Wow, that was a long one. Uh, Martin Barrett says his, his, his skill is that he has no shame. Um, I had a girl I worked with when I was in New York. She used to say she had no shame all the time. Um, and, uh, to be honest with you, it's a good marketing skill to have that you're not afraid. That's like a carnival barker. Like you're not afraid to be like sitting at the balloon pop game being like, ah, come four for four for a dollar or whatever. Like really what you need to do is you need to be comfortable talking about stuff that makes you uncomfortable. Cause it's not easy to be like, Hey, come check this out. You know, come check this new thing out that you may not like. Um, you have to know how to talk about that piece. Andy McIntyre, my buddy Andy Mack, who I worked with at Inside Pulse, he's a good friend. Uh, he's also on the podcast uh, Silver Linings Playback, where they weekly defend uh, movies that are much maligned and may need uh, defense um, of <laughs> historically. Um, he said sex appeal. Um, we're both redheads. I know that that is not a thing that a redhead has, uh, but he has lots of it, evidently. So... Man just lost like 70 pounds, so we're going to go with that. Aaron Glazer, another former writer friend of mine from InsidePulse.com, said being awesome. And to be honest with you, awesome carries over. That kind of energy, people pick up on it, and they want to work with that. Um, people really do enjoy when people are awesome, and I hope that uh, you get the opportunity to work with awesome people. Um, if you guys have ever worked with someone that just because they're great or they're awesome or you enjoy working with someone that's that's really awesome. Drop a drop a comment. Uh, let me know if you've ever worked with someone. Give me a yes, yes or a no. Uh, if you've worked with someone and they're so memorable because they're just awesome to work with. I uh, would love to hear that. And even better, I would love to hear that you've told them. That would be cool. Uh, Shannon Delgado, Double Dam. By the way, Double Dam, did you tell them? Did you tell them that they were awesome? Because I think that's what matters the most. Um, that's a marketing skill unto itself. It's an interpersonal skill, but being able to tell someone that they're, uh, they have a value that they may not think they have is, is really important. And I think that you need to really consider how important that sort of thing is. That's an opportunity they missed, if you didn't. Uh, yes, I love telling people good versus bad things. Good. Good. Always capitalize on the positive. Unlike trolls on the internet, just saying crap on threads, hurting people's feelings. <laughs> I just haven't been insulted in a while. I was like, why? Wildly. Yeah. Oh, man. So mean. So mean. Uh, anyway, Shannon Delgado, his name is Jimmy. Jimmy, um, I'm incredibly good at casting and then just getting out of the way, which is a superpower. To know when someone would be perfect for a role, would fit a position and be ideal. And then you can just be like, you know what? I'm good. I'm out of the way. I'm good here. I can uh, I can step out of the way and uh, we don't need to, I don't need to direct. I don't need to, uh, I don't need to be in the way. Hope that's all right. Hope that's okay with you. So. But uh, it's good. What's next? What do we got next? What? Oh, Rebecca. Rebecca Sampson is an author and a former employee of mine in Miami. Uh, and she's a doll. She's a sweetheart. She does a lot of really great writing. If you have young adult style writers or fantasy readers that you know, um, her Ashkodan series, uh, Ember Dragon Daughter, uh, is really phenomenal, and I think it's definitely worth checking out if you know someone that's into that style of fantasy. So um, hit me up if that's something that you know someone would like, even on audiobook. Uh, Rebecca's a sweetheart, but honesty. you got to be honest. You can't, you can't mince words, but you can't say stuff that's not true. If you're, if you're working with four people, and three of them are like, hey, man, I don't really want to be a reference. Is that okay? You're like, okay, that's 
it's complicated for me, <laughs> but you gotta be honest. You know, if they're, if they're not enjoying working with you, you gotta be honest. Um, I don't really, I'm not really comfortable using this person as a reference because they're not really enjoying working with me. Gotta be honest, but that's it on that. I put that one really large. That's very large. I'm so sorry. Doug Greathouse uh, said relationship building. And I think all marketing is relationship building. It's all, especially in the digital age, it's digital handshakes. Uh, we're just kind of putting our, our hands together and saying, what's up? Whether it's social media, email, um, however uh, you want to connect as well. But um, it's no different than the olden days with the Rolodex. Um, but we're, we're connecting and building relationships that can nurture over time. When I talk about emailing a, a website a day over the course of 30 days to kind of, to, um, to kind of build a relationship, um, that's what we're doing. It's like a 30 day challenge. And I think we need to make sure that we're doing that. And, uh, relationship building is, is critical to that. So I think with putting that there. I can mention that uh, I'm drinking a ton of, of Mountain Dew. Not not today, but I found a ton of it. But I think it's time maybe we can pull this back. And I can tell you a little bit about what we're doing today. So do you guys want to know what we're jamming? If you want to know what we're jamming, if you didn't look in the thread over at Jay Horton, give me a one if you want to know. If you don't want to know, that's totally fine. You can go in blind. I'm going to. I'm just going to click down and you're going to see in a second. Mm. Double damn with the one. Double damn. Double damn. All right. I offer that we are going to do one of my favorite films of all time. I have two. Both were made before I was born. And I saw both for the first time in a film study class when I was in college uh, and kind of ignited the whole when I was finishing my degree in psychology, trying to figure out how I could like do more in film in a very small school that had no film program, no marketing program per se, um, which is actually 100% true. Um, oh, Sean Jackson comes in with the one. Let's do this. We're going to do Chinatown. Oh, blast i don't even know how we're gonna do this when i thought it up the 1974 neo-noir mystery film which is the final one directed by polanski in the u.s uh off a screenplay by robert town which the robert town fact is that he was offered a lot of money to do gatsby but he thought he could not improve upon the novel so he turned it down and took like twenty five thousand dollars to do chinatown instead wait this way chinatown Chinatown instead. Uh, starring Nicholson and Faye Dunaway. It's set in 37. And Evan Mulray hires an investigator, J.J. Giddis, to follow her husband, Hollis. Uh, and guess what? He turns up dead. Mystery is set in motion. Uh, it is a masterpiece. In 91, the film was selected by the Library of Congress for preservation and the U.S. National Film Registry as a culturally, culturally historically, or aesthetically significant piece. It is one of the greatest films of all time. If you have seen Chinatown before, give me a hell yeah. I would just. I just want to see hell yeah. I just want to see a whole bunch of hell yeahs. Double damn hell yeah. I'm doing stone colds up in here. Double down with the hell yeah. All right, so we're going to do this. In order to do this, I have to... Okay, so Ethan, here's the thing, dude. If you have not seen this, do you have time to watch a movie tonight? It is one of the highest rated films on IMDb. It's a 99. 
with 76 reviews, which is part of the reason that it's not the highest rated film of all time is because there aren't that many reviews that are added into the database because at that time there weren't that many uh, sources. So sites like Paddington or uh, movies like Paddington get higher rating because there were websites as well. But if you, if you, man, I'm going to be honest with you. Like if you've got yourself two hours and 10 minutes, Yes, I know. D do me a favor. This. I got to be honest with you. Not. Yeah, but you don't. Sean, you don't. We can't assume. We can't assume because this is you. If you don't really know going in what this is about, like if you don't understand neo-noir, right? If you just like if noir is not your thing, if mysteries aren't your thing, like. It makes it really hard. So, like, why would you want to watch it? It's like uh, the uh, following, right? Like, if you if you were supposed to watch it because you're a Christopher Nolan fan, right? Your friend was like, oh, this is old Nolan. You'll love it. Um, well, if you're like, oh, it's not what I expected, you may hate it. But it's a great movie. So, this is one of those things that if you don't know a lot of Nicholson, if you don't know Faye Dunaway at all, um, if you're not a Polanski fan, like there's a lot of reasons you may not be into this film uh, at, at surface level, um, but like it's it's incredible. So Ethan, like, put this on your list. It's on Netflix right now. It's actually on Netflix. It's never on Netflix. Um, so like, watch it now. Having said all this, let's jam it. We're gonna jam this thing. Wow, my focus is weird. I'm gonna sit. Here. There, we sit there. I'm trying to figure out where I was going to sit. The autofocus, obviously, I don't have that on. Come on. All right. All right. Now we're going to go over to. Here we are. Now, here is the deal. These jam boards are complicated because we are taking modern techniques and applying them to a time period where they didn't exist. So let's just say in 1974, social media existed. Let's say in 1974, websites existed. We are going to use clever strategies in a time when they didn't exist. How's that feel? All right. So if we're all on the same page, remember, we're using stuff that didn't exist in 74 in 74. We're going to do fun stuff. So let's start for Chinatown. And we don't have a plan. Let's uh let's start with, <laughs> with with viral stunts. I don't even know what we can do with viral stunts. Let's make it fun. I'm gonna make it yellow. I'm gonna go yellow today. All right, if you guys remember to chime in whenever you have ideas. Viral stunts. Um, head to California Water um, Park. And I don't know. Head to California Water Park. No, I don't want Water Park. Because it's the California Water. Where is he? Damn it. Where is the name of the place where Hollis is killed? What is the where, where they find him? I'm sorry about that, by the way, Ethan. I'm like a little bit of a spoiler. This is going to stink for Ethan because he's like literally going to be listening to us spoil the whole movie. I'll try to stay away from doing that. Again, you know what? We won't spoil. We'll only do the first 10 minutes stuff, the stuff that would matter then. But it's like the ravine, the reservoir. 
You know, I'm just going to do reservoir. I'll do reservoir as a word because I think reservoir, I can't think of what it was called. Uh, reservoir, reservoir for. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I broke a bunch of golden rules today. I talked about trolls. Not supposed to talk about the trolls. Ah, okay. Still, watch the film. And I want you to tell me how brilliant it is or how much you weren't impressed by it. Either way, I had two California Reservoir. You know, let's skip the stunts for right now. Um, digital PR, paid social, social website. All right, you know what? Let's start down here instead. Uh, build site for CA water. I can't remember what the thing is called. Oh, and I should be showing you guys this. First, Sean said, oops, golden rule broken. And then we got the spoilers are fine. I've seen video essays that include the film. So that, which means you need to still see it. Gosh, I look weird. By the way, you guys, uh, the hair looks all right, right? Listen. Oh, I remember. Conspiracy investigation from within um, fan site. Digging until death of Mulray. Okay. So basically what I'm thinking is this. We build a site for the Water Commission a, and with a conspiracy investigation from within f and within to a fan site digging until the death of Mulray. So someone that's like a snooping or something. Uh-oh. Don't need that. All right. All right. So there's where we're at right now. Digging into Mulray's death. So basically, we'll treat this like a mystery, a light mystery comparison here. Um, website, social. Uh, we will do. I'll do normal cadence at this point. We know that that is going to be Monday to Friday. Set or sun. Come on. And then we're going to... We're going to go and do normal cadence Saturday, Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, we'll do uh, investigating. Water shortage. Oh, uh, no. Talking. You know what? Uh, community talking. Water shortage. Community community page. Talking water shortage. Unusual activities. Um, Etc. So basically, what I want to do is do a traditional community activity page. Like, um, let's see if they still have it. Twitter.com. And what was the name of that one? Um, uh, 
San Francisco. I think there's a community page somewhere for one of these. And I can't think of what it is. I can't remember the name of the page. City of San Francisco. So something like this. So it's like the city of San Francisco, but then they give you like access to retweet stuff from like other stuff in the community you may want to know about, stuff about the Coit Tower, uh, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, Mary Ellen Caro, so, or Carol, oh, sorry for moving too fast, San Francisco is, some stuff COVID-19 rollout, you know, but then if you also dig into some, let's see if they ever show one. This isn't really the best example because what I want to show is like a, a neighborhood. I worked on some social at one point back in the day on a community. Like, I don't know the neighborhoods in San Francisco, um, and I can't remember the name of the one that we we did. But it was literally like a very small, um, like, just call it like Los Palmas. I don't, I, I can't think of the neighborhood. Um, and it literally was like a 10 square block, but it was very arts community, food oriented, uh, very family friendly, dog friendly. But like we had a, a, a calendar we put out of all the stuff going on in the neighborhood and all this great stuff. And that's what we worked on uh, for them. So um, I want that kind of community page. Like it's treated like a, like a community page. So. Okay. Uh, paid social, nothing yet. Actually, no, I'll just do paid social because this is 1974 and they're going to be kind of antiquated. I'll be able to do something a little bit differently because we're going to assume no one else is doing anything in 74 because no one else has got the technology. So, what's Owens? Is that a neighborhood? Owens? Paid social. Paid social would be like a penny in 74. So what we're going to do is we are going to run two different campaigns. I just want to run two. All right. I want to run an engagement campaign and I want to run an acquisition campaign. First, engagement. want to run a campaign for movie trailer garner likes and views that's the first one and we never get to do this stuff because every time we go to do okay uh, what was the second one? Acquisition. Direct patrons to website to sign up for News updates. Use emails for future lists and PR. So there, we're finally able to do something very, uh, and do it cheaply. So that's done there. Down on the floor. Sorry, my phone rang and I was confused. Uh, All right. Social. All right. So we got we got social. We have paid social. We have the website. Uh, digital PR, we'd probably want to do after I figure out. I'm actually, this is the first time I'll be able to go with email first. Uh, use 
paid social emails to notify of on sale dates one create marketing campaign to publicize sorry you can't see that let me move it over to publicize the mystery around the death of Mole Ray I mean, it's not the core mystery of the movie, but it's a mystery. Oh, take this off the screen. All right. Actually, you know what? I think the viral stunt should be something like this. Uh, viral stunt. Choose random names from email list. Deliver information, uh, deliver packages with uh, audio tapes to them with clues to final uh, reveal of them. In 1974, that would blow their minds. And then also, we could deliver audio tapes of kitties. Speech with knife with film props. I like that. What do you guys think of that? So we were actually going to deliver some like replica film props to people on that list. See, like we went out of order and some stuff showed up. I like that right there. So we'll do random random names on the list and deliver packages, audio tapes that deliver clues to the final reveal of the film. Right. We don't want to give that away to Ethan. And then second, deliver audio tapes of the kitty speech with knife to random people on the list as well with film props, other film props. Maybe even just posters or whatever. But that's what it is. What do you guys think of that? You guys like that at all? Are we going in a good direction, healthy direction we like? I'm drinking some Mountain Dew. Oh. All right. So that's our viral stunt. Actually, just slide that here. Take that to influencers. Because back in the day, influencers were literally only reviewers at uh, uh, radio and television. That's who the influencer was. So in 74, that's what they could do. So that's what they take that. So take that, split it in half. Give one half to people on the list. Right? Give the cool half to people in the real world. And then give the interesting half to people that would expect it. They would expect the payola or the whatever in our research. Video. Um, for video. Uh, cut. Cut. 30... 50. Oh, I screwed that up. Of course I did. I would just cut this. I'm going to be honest with you. I just want to make this as uh, palatable as possible. So let's cut 30 second 90 for web and broadcast. That's it. Um, SEO, we're going to be the top in the world because we are going to... Oh. Cut.
Got about 10 minutes left to go here in the show. Um, SEO went to optimize for movie. Blah. No. Uh, rank. No, I don't, I don't want to say this. Oh, I'll be back. Here I come. Here I come to save the day. Yay. <sighs> that camera. I love it so much, but it's just doing its own thing. Its own damn thing. Um, out to my site. Uh, look for opportunities in film and movie segments. Aim for... Uh, you know, I don't know what time of year this movie came out. Aim for holiday releases. I, I don't know. I, I Shoot, I don't know. I can't say that I know. I, I, I got to put Harbity because I don't know. that there put this there and digital PR uh, target top key oh, top Roblox slash site skins. Uh, if you don't know what a Roblox site skin is, a Roblox site skin is when you get a whole page to yourself, like the front page of a site, and they block all of the ads with your ads, and the sides of the site are all skin for you. So Roblox site skin. Every ad, every piece of every piece of uh, advertisable material becomes yours. That's it. That's where we're at. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's very ugly. I think that um, this piece here at the viral stunts ended up getting pretty cool. Um, I enjoyed that. Um, so had about seven minutes, and I really do want to get to uh, my son's part because it really makes him happy. So if you guys want this, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Either find me on Facebook or email me at sean at weareandrin.com. And I will, uh, I'll open this up and uh, send you the link. But this was Chinatown. It's one of my two favorite films of all time. Um, the other one is Vertigo. The other one is Vertigo. Uh, let me just very quickly get back into the deck. And... And we're back. So, words of the week. Um, basically, you guys know how this works at this point. My son, seven-year-old Carter, who was on last week's show, he actually goes into the deck after it's all done, and he puts in, ooh, excuse me, puts in every single word. There's three of them that goes into randomwordgenerator.com, takes them, places them in the deck, and the idea behind this is I either have to define the word using something marketing-related. I have to use marketing-related terms to make a sentence using the word, or I have to define it with my career. So more often than not, I end up be free associating a sentence. Uh, and I'd like to hear where you guys are at with that definition. Let's go. Partner. Uh, I want to do this one this way. Um, when it comes to this show, you guys are a partner in the experience. I want to say thank you for always being here every week uh, and being awesome. Uh, I have a lot of fun. I put a lot into getting this together. And um, you've always been very gracious with your time and um, very helpful um, in uh, kind of giving me feedback where necessary. Uh, so I've always thought that this has been a partnership, uh, not just me hosting something alone. So thank you for being a partner and let's talk marketing. I know that that was really corny. Who knows? 
Okay, I've only worked one job that was utter torture, so I won't use that one. Um, it's been a hard couple days thinking people were taking digs at me. So I hate trolls. I'm going to address it. Um, I'm not a negative person talking to other people. I'm super positive, and uh, you know it, it kind of tore me down a little bit. So thank you for being here, uh, for being cool and being involved, and um, thank you for thinking I'm uh, some part of this is rad. It's all it means a lot. So. Um, it was torture for a couple of seconds to think that someone thought I was a jerk and I need to get thicker skin about that. And I hope this experience gives it to me, um, because I know that I have some support and, uh, double damn. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, dude. Hey, listen, it's fun. I enjoy doing it. I just, I was waiting for the day where something negative came back. I just didn't expect me to put together one thread and I got four people slam me. And I was like, where is the crazy thread where they're like this guy sucks so um and lastly market no oh, that's what we're here to do um i'm here to help you guys figure out how to market your plans and projects so um i always offer my contact information at the end of the show i want to always offer guys i only give away one call because i have to keep the line free for other business related stuff it's not because i'm trying to charge you on a second call i really could give a shit i could I mean, if you needed to have a second call with me about something because you're stuck, feel free. I just want to help you get unstuck. If there's a place where we could work together down the road or you need help, that's fine too. We don't have to work together. It's not what this is about. It's not because it's not, you're not going to make a shitload of money making an indie film. I'm not going to make a shitload of money marketing you making an indie film. Um, you know, if I had to help you, um, we, you know, that's different. Or I was lucky enough to help you more likely. Um, but um, that's what this is about. Not at all. So, and I just want you guys to sincerely know that. So, um, it's just been a weird reflective two days. And I'm like, man. Oh, and to top it off, like I shortened my mustache too much on this side. And now it like looks nice, but it didn't before. So, I don't know why it looks good, but I'm wearing a polo shirt and I'm rocking funny shorts and I'm not letting you see them because they don't match. Ah. So, that's it. One to five, you know, the routine one, one is good. Five sucks. How do I do words of the week, folks? Words of the week. One to five. I'm going to take this off the screen for a second. You can give me one to five. One to five. I'll drink my Mountain Dew. Let's see what you guys got for me. Double damn in the clutch with a one. It's a nice score. I'll take it. I'll do the average when you're done. I think Sean's going to give me a 2.25. Two point two five. Thank you. Two. <laughs> I was hoping for a 2.25. I really wanted a 2.25. Which one was it that you didn't like? Which one was it the three off the most? <laughs> he, we need him to win. He's just literally trying to win. I don't get it. I don't get it. Just the, that that the one from this first one that I showed you guys here was like the nicest. And I was like, wow. And like, I left him in. I leave him in because I'm not, I'm, we're talking 17 years of me dealing with negative comments and stuff like that. Like, I just, I'm not, I'm not one to silence someone from saying something they feel as long as it's not uh, harassing or like menacing to another person. Uh, but I was just like, wow, dude. Like, I, I just literally was like, go in, just take a second, go into the thing I put up on my page scroll through and you'll be like oh wow there's a lot of shots being taken so but all right folks i'm gonna go back into this guy oh add a stream here we are you know where to find me by this point friends we are at facebook i'm sean michael smith on twitter sean m smith where i opened it before to try and find something and couldn't do it um on clubhouse which i'm not using i'm, I'm trying real hard i'm just not using it it's sean m smith um, on Instagram, S squared 22 on Twitch, S squared 22 as well too. Uh, on YouTube, it's Sean Smith 22. Both S's have to be capitalized. Otherwise some weirdo 
is who you find. Um, and then also every Tuesday, save for today. We're taking a break because we're refocusing on what we're doing with the show. Um, my son and I put out a podcast called Potato Salad Marmalade. Uh, we're trying to find a new marketing strategy as well, too, which would figure that the marketing guy is redoing the marketing strategy. Um, but, yep, that's the Dancing Taco Guy. Uh, and as I said before, uh, let's do it. You have a question. You're stuck. You want to talk. Um, that's, this is what I'm here for. Uh, go.onesub.com slash Sean M. Smith. Let's just sit down. Um, I, I, I make nothing off the show, nor do I want to. Uh, it's not why I do it. Um, I have bigger goals for my marketing career, what I'm doing. And to be honest, this is just really fun for me. Um, and, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> I just want to talk to everybody. Um, so thank you guys for always being around and coming to do. And thank you. Thank you. So um, I want to say thanks again. Uh, it's been a fun week as always. Uh, and next week, I got to figure out what to do. I want to do something a little bit different. Um, but I have to figure out what exactly. I'll Hopefully I'll have hair back. But uh, I doubt I will because I'm very baldish. And actually, to be honest with you, it's kind of growing on me. I think it's because I'm offsetting it with the mustache. But I don't know. I don't know. So, all right, folks. Well, thank you again for tuning in. Uh, you can stop cheering for the kid, by the way. Don't do that. Don't encourage him. <laughs> don't give him power. All right, friends. We'll see you next week. Take care. Peace out.